Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another video where I only use one brand and the brand that I'm going to be using today is CoverGirl. I honestly have not tried many of CoverGirl's products. I don't really know why, maybe there just really wasn't anything that kind of caught my eye. Um, but I'm hoping that I will find some goodies in here like I did in my last video. If you haven't seen that, I did a full face using only Milani products and I found quite a few Milani products that I hadn't tried that I really liked. So I'm hoping today will be the same, that I'll find some goodies in here. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right on into this video. All right, um, the only thing I didn't pick up was a primer, it, just because I'm not really a huge fan of primer, so, um, but I've already moisturized my face and kind of prepped it and everything. All right, so the first thing is gonna be the foundation that I picked up, and I picked up the CoverGirl True Blend liquid foundation and I have mine in the shade classic ivory and I'm really hoping that this will match me I know one of you told me to try to match it to my neck and I kind of tried to but in our in the store I went to Walmart and got all this stuff and there's no mirrors in the makeup section for some reason so I really couldn't like try to match it because I didn't have anything to look at my like I couldn't see myself but I did my best and I'm hoping that this is my shade. Um, I actually did get kind of get some sun this week, so I'm hoping that that won't mess up with the shade that I picked. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this. I don't think I've ever tried any of CoverGirl's foundations. I could be wrong. Like I said, it's, I haven't really tried many of their products, but I'm hoping that this will be good. Mm, could be. This might be a little bit too light for me, but that's okay. I'll make it work. What is the coverage on this? It doesn't say what the coverage is on this, which I don't know why it doesn't. So far this seems like pretty light coverage. If you hear any noise in the background, my cat's in the room with me and he likes to play with everything that he can reach. So that's what that noise is. But yeah, I'd say this is very light coverage. I mean, my face isn't horribly broken out, but I do have a lot of like little red spots. And I'm having to layer it up. All right, so foundation is on, and I'd say it's a very light um, coverage. Like, I can still see some red peeking through, and I've already kind of tried to layer it. Um, and I just, I don't feel like it's building very well. Um, I mean, it's not looking cakey or anything, but I just don't feel like me adding more is not adding any more coverage to it if that makes any sense like I can still see like a little pimple that I had a while back that's healing I can still see the redness kind of peeking through and that is with me putting layers on that so I'd say this foundation is going to be good for probably would probably good around summertime because if it's something you want to just like add a light layer of foundation but you don't want anything too heavy then I think this would be great great for that but for me personally I like um, a little more foundation because I do tend to have more red spots on my skin from uh, previous breakouts or something or I just I don't know I just tend to have a little more red spots I prefer more coverage um, but that's just me personally now as for it being on the skin it looks fine on the skin to me personally I do like how it looks like I said the only complaint is I just wish it had more coverage um, I think I actually did pretty good matching my shade I think I don't know like it seems to match my neck pretty well so thank you to whoever gave, gave me that tip thank you for that all right moving on to concealer I have the covergirl I have the covergirl clean matte concealer I have mine in the shade fair this packaging seems super light all right, that is all blended out. Um, I can't really say that it made me look matte. I'm guessing that's what it was supposed to do because it said clean matte concealer. I don't really know what that means. So it blended out nice. Um, I don't see any creasing. Well, yeah, it is creasing. It's sinking into my lines right there because I have pretty deep lines underneath my eye. A wrinkle, not, not wrinkles, but just my eye lines. but you know it's working I mean I don't see anything wrong with it it didn't 
strip my foundation off or anything and it blended nice into my foundation. All right, moving on, I'm going to set my face and I have the CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Powder and I have mine in Translucent Light. And that is the 110. All right, and I'm just gonna put some of this on my face. It has an interesting smell. It smells like my grandma's makeup, honestly. Like that very old smelling makeup. Like the powders and stuff, that's what it smells like. I don't know what that scent is. It's very, not super fine, but you know, kind of so fine feeling powder. All right, and that's all I'm gonna do with that. I really don't like putting a lot of powder on my face because I feel like it makes me, I don't know, feel very powdery. I don't know, I don't like seeing powder on skin. Again, it did its job and I'm not blown away by it, but I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it, aside from maybe the smell, because I really don't like that smell. All right, I think I'm gonna do brows, and for brows I have the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil, and I have mine in the shade Soft Brown. So here it is. Let's see if I can get it open. So very thin, and then of course, of course on the end it has the spoolie part. And I'm just gonna quickly go through this. I really do like these fine, more fine uh, tipped pencils. And yeah, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows real quick. All right, brows are done. And I do really like this uh, brow product. I mean, it was pretty pigmented, um, just super easy to use. I really like, again, I really like that very fine uh, tip because it just made it really easy to, you know, fill my eyebrows in and just kind of easier to get into little spots that I didn't want a whole lot of product in. Um, I really like this one so far. Um, all right, so have that done. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin and I'm going to use the CoverGirl bronzer. Um, and I have my in the shade Golden Tan. I really don't like how small this um, bronzer is, I wish you know, instead of them, it came with a brush. Instead of it coming with a brush, I wish they just would have, you know, added more product to this. Just kind of made it this whole size here instead of just half of it. Um, Cause I feel like this is not gonna be the easiest to get a brush into, but that's just little things. Um, hopefully this won't be too light for me. No, I think this is about the right shade for me. I am pretty fair even though I did get some sun this week which I was surprised yeah I like this bronzer um I don't like dark bronzers on me but I feel this is just the right shade for me yeah so far that blended out really nicely and I like how it looks yeah like I said I just wish that the pan size was bigger all right moving on to blush again it's the same size just very small i have mine in the shade i don't know what the shade is um i accidentally peeled off the little sticker i think it was oh dear yeah i don't know what the shade is i accidentally peeled off the sticker because like the safety seal thing had the name on it and i peeled it off to open it um but i think it was like peach or something go ahead and tap this on It looks like, ooh, 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 is this is supposed to be a blush, right? Pretty sure this was a blush, but this feels like a highlight. You see that? Oh, well, I guess we're going with it. It's not ugly. It's just, I feel like I see more shine than I do pigment. Does that make any sense? All right, that's on. I, I can kind of see a little bit of pigment there. But I really just see a bunch of shine, which is not bad. It made my skin look very glowy, which I'm kind of liking. Um, I'm not, I don't usually, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Ugh, I can't decide. What do you guys think? Is that too, like, I feel like that's a lot of shimmer or shine just for some blush. I don't know. If you like really glowy skin, I guess that you would like this, but I'm 
feel like it makes me look super, super shiny. And now I'm gonna add a highlight on top of that. Oh, geez. All right, moving on to highlight. I have the CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlight, and it's supposed to be peach scented. Packaging is actually pretty cute on this. I wish they had that blush in the bronzer, like this paint size, you know, the pant size for this, because this is a nice size. This is not too big, but it, I don't feel like I'm gonna struggle to get my brush to pick up the product. But yeah, let's just go ahead and try this out on my already very lowy cheeks. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see the highlight, but we'll see. Yeah, I feel like it's just blending right in with that blush. It does smell really good though. I'm just gonna be super glowy today. Oh jeez. I really feel like this um, highlight and that blush are basically the same color. Well, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but I'm not used to such glowy skin. This does really smell really, really good. And this is very shimmery. You can see like not only the glow on my chin from where I just put that, but I can also see the little sparkly shimmers, which I'm not a huge fan of shimmery. Alrighty, moving on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do eyes now, and the palette that I picked up was the Peach Punch. I guess I was going for peach theme, but Peach Punch, here it is, very neutral. I really wasn't impressed with the eyeshadow palette selection, like, I was going to get the palettes that they recently came out with. It's the one with, uh, I'll try to show you a picture if I can remember to put one on the screen for you guys. I don't know what the collection was called. It was like Her Majesty's collection or something like that. But anyways, I was looking at getting some of those, but I saw what they look like inside and I did not like, um, the pan sizes of them. Cause like the palettes were like... I'm just going to show you an example. Okay, the palette size was maybe like, maybe smaller than this, maybe a little smaller than this, but it was a pretty good size. But like the actual like eyeshadow was like maybe that big. So you had like all this wasted space and it was like $15 for one of those palettes. And I just didn't want to spend, you know, $15 on a palette that didn't have even very big hand size for eyeshadows. I don't know. I just, I just don't like that whenever palettes are like that when they have so much wasted space. Um, but that's just me personally. But anyways, back to this. I'm going to just be doing a very, just going to be doing a very neutral look today. Big surprise. All right. Um, there's no shade names on here, so I'm just going to kind of point, I'm just going to go into the shade right here and just put that all over my lid. So far, they are pretty pigmented, and they are, it is blending out pretty nicely. So, yay for that. I'm always kind of scared to try out drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I think they're getting better about it, but sometimes some of those, I've tried some, and they're super chalky and patchy. Just overall, not very good. So, it's nice whenever you try a drugstore palette, and that they're not crap but yeah I'm, I'm really liking how this is blending out right now they do have quite a kickback in the pan but that doesn't honestly bug me so that's not an issue for me but I know some people don't like it right moving on sorry I was just going straight on taking the shade here and I'm hoping it works just as well as that other shade that I just used does so I find that if anything gives the problem, it's kind of more shades like this. Like sometimes they look more gray than actually brown or they're just patchy for some reason. But so far, so good. All right, and now I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this shade here and I'm just, I'm just gonna blend out what I just kind of did. And it's kind of looking a little muddy. I'm just gonna go and kind of try to fix it up a little bit. Just going back into the first three shades that I used. Now on to the shimmers. So I'm gonna take this first shimmer right here. Ooh, the shimmers feel really nice. And I'm gonna place it kind of more in the center of my lid. 
though they feel really nice honestly they feel very silky almost not very like creamy it's just very smooth i know i can't see this one nearly as well because it's kind of a darker shimmer and i put it on the dark darker part of the eyeshadow that i put on all right moving on i'm going to i'm going to apply this one now this shimmer doesn't feel as nice as the other one and i'm not really for sure why i don't know maybe maybe it's just me maybe they are the same i feel like it's not I don't know, maybe it's a little bit on the chalky side, just a smidge, but it doesn't look bad. I'm just gonna do my bottom lash real quick, um, and I'm just gonna be using the same shades that I did, that I used to do the lid. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the shade kind of in the corners of my eyes, just because that's really all that I haven't used, aside from like this really pale one over here. Um, and they don't really have a really bright uh, metallic shade in here, so that's just gonna have to do. It's not very bright. I might end up having to go to this lighter one over here. Just because that pink one's really not showing up very well. I like the gold kind of bronzy, or the bronzy shimmer, but I really don't like those other two. I don't know. They're, I don't know. This palette's okay. The mattes actually, I like the mattes, they perform pretty well, but I'm not a big fan of the shimmers, honestly. So I have picked up some eyeliner, and I picked up the Katy Perry Katy Cat Eye, which I didn't even know Katy Perry, I guess, did a collab with them or something, I'm assuming. And I have mine in the shade Midnight Matte, and on one side, of course, it has the eyeliner the eyeliner and then the other side I think it has like a smudger which I don't usually ever use smudgers I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my waterline it's really not going over that shimmer very well and I know it is a gel or yeah gel not liquid that's as good as that's gonna get it didn't it didn't go over the shimmer very well but it did go in my waterline you know nicely but I, I mean it's I don't think it's uncommon for it not to go over shimmers too well all right two three more products all right so next i have covergirl mascara i unfortunately got it in the wrong shade i usually like black uh black mascara but this one was like black brown or something that's okay i'll still try it out um uh, not a fan of really the wand i mean it's nothing special and it feels it looks a little clumpy i don't like it when mascaras don't have like that that thing in it that you know like kind of scrapes the product so that makes sure that you don't get too much product on your wand and you have to scrape it off yourself so there's one side with and then the other side without um I mean it I can I don't know I don't like it honestly the formula it feels kind of dry um like, I feel like it's very clumpy feeling, but I mean, it made my lashes look a little bit thicker. I wouldn't say it really lengthened or anything, but I don't really remember if it was either supposed to just volumize or if it was lengthening. I'm pretty sure it's probably volumizing because that's what it's doing. I don't know. It looks, it made my lashes look okay. It's just not, I don't really care for the formula. Um, it feels kind of dry and a little bit, kind of almost sticky, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just picky. I don't all right, moving on to more products. Um, next up is lips, and I have the cream lipstick, and I have mine in the shade Honeyed Bloom. Can you guys hear my dog snoring? I feel like he snores so loud, but anyways, here it is. All right, there is the lipstick. All right, my dog is snoring so loud. All right, and ooh, it is very creamy. All right, so far I'm really liking the formula. I just don't like the color. I picked too light. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be darker. It looks darker than what it is. I would definitely have to wear like a lip liner underneath this because I really just don't like these pale pinks on me. And I don't know why I thought this was gonna be a different shade. But there's that. Um, I mean, it's pretty comfortable. 
I'm just not a huge fan of lipsticks in general. I prefer more glosses because I feel like lipsticks brings out the lines in my lips. I don't know what do you guys think. I feel like this is too light for me, but it is comfortable. I just don't like how lipstick looks sometimes. I don't like how it, you guys know, see what I mean? I feel like it just brings out all the lines in my lips. Yeah, I don't like it. The formula is okay. I just don't like the shade, which is my fault. I picked two out of a shade. All right, so I just went ahead and put some gloss on. I put the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper gloss on. And it does kind of have like a tingly feeling, but anyways, the last product is going to be the CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist All Day Wear. All right, and I'm just going to spritz this all over my face. All right, see the mist first. Not the finest of sprays, but not the worst. Has a scent to it. I don't really know what it smells like. And alrighty guys, here is the finished look. Um, I have mixed feelings for sure. Let's go through the stuff that I did like. All right, so I did like the foundation. I do like how it looks on the skin. I don't think it makes me look cakey. Like I said, only complaint is that it's very light coverage. I do like the highlighter. Well, I like the smell of the highlighter. I'll have to try the highlighter by itself without that blush because I really didn't like the blush. I don't like how shimmery it is and I didn't, I don't think it actually added much color to my cheeks aside from just the shine or maybe it did and I just can't see it I can only can see the shine I would probably may um, use this as a highlighter honestly um, so I just I just didn't expect it to be so shiny I mean it looks like it has a little maybe it looks like it maybe has a little shimmer to it but I didn't expect it to be so I just didn't expect it to be so shiny. I did like the bronzer. Only complaint is the pan size. I wish it was bigger. Um, I did like the brow product. I really like how my brows look right now. Um, setting spray, I really can't tell from just one use and I'll have to see. I don't know if I'll do a full day's wear test on just on the setting spray, but I mean, it didn't ruin my makeup, so that's a thumbs up. Um, the eyeliner was good, um, aside from it just not going on very well on my top lid but that could just be from all the shimmer I put on it did go on the waterline very well and it felt really it didn't tug or anything so that's good I didn't like the lipstick but I think it's mostly just from the fact that it sunk into my lip lines um, and the shade itself but the, again that was my fault I should have picked a darker shade I, um, but the formula felt you know it wasn't drying so it was creamy I didn't really care for the concealer I really don't feel like it did anything. I don't feel like it brightened underneath my eye area any. Uh, I just felt like it kind of just disappeared almost because I don't know, like I didn't really feel like it did anything. Um, but I'll keep trying it out. I really didn't like the mascara. Um, I mean, it did add some volume, but it wasn't like anything, wow, you know, volume. And I didn't really like the wand and I didn't like the formula, honestly. I just felt like it was kind of clumpy and drying feeling and last is the palette um, I mean the mattes worked fine I would probably use it just for the mattes I really was not impressed with the shimmer part I mean it looks okay but I feel like they just the shimmers just all kind of all look the same honestly maybe I need to I mean I'll play around with it but I feel like they look the same and maybe it's because of the the base I put down you know like that dark brown maybe it's kind of muddying it out but I can't really tell the difference. I feel like I have just one shimmer on. I really can't see the different... I don't know. Am I crazy? Like, it just looks like I put one color of shimmer on. I can kind of see a little bit of that pink that I put in the corner, but not really. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. Oh, I forgot about this setting powder. Setting power powder, you know, it was fine. It wasn't anything special, but... I mean, I don't think it made me look too powdery, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is a bit long. Probably is going to turn out to be a little bit long. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, that was my 
full face of CurvaGirl products. I did find a couple of products in here that I did like, but I unfortunately, a majority of them I'm just not impressed with. And that's kind of honestly why I've never really bought much of CurvaGirl because I feel like the products just don't really impress me. I mean, not that I should be like, oh, blown away impressed, but I just feel like the quality is not the best. Um, but I did find some products in here that I did like. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for the 100 subscribers. I can't believe I made it to 100. I'm super excited. And I look forward to creating more content for you guys. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.